My name is James Goggin. I'm an account executive here at Trend, and I'm going to talk to you today about creating labels. So the first step in creating labels is clicking on the search drop-down menu. After that, you want to click on the search button under public records. Once you're at the public records search screen, you want to make sure you're putting in your subdivision or neighborhood, if that's what you're targeting, or a whole municipality. I also like to put in the property class, so I'm going to select residential. And I like to select residential so I'm not targeting commercial properties or industry or anything like that. I also like to put in a settlement date. That way, individuals who have settled within the last few years are not getting all of my mailers. So I'm going to put in 1-1-2010 and then a minus after that. And what that'll do is it'll filter out everything that's settled within the last six years. After that, you can click on results. And that should bring up all of your listings. Now you want to make sure at the top there you're selecting the All button. The Page button will select the number that you're currently looking at. The All button will select all of the properties that you found. After that, you want to click the Print button. This will bring you to the Print page. And at the bottom, you should see three options for mailing labels. You'll see Owner Property Address. That will be addressed to the owner on record and to that property address. The owner owner address will be sent to the owner, and if it's an investment firm or something like that, it will be sent to their address. And then the current resident property address will be sent to the current resident, it will be addressed to the current resident, and it will be sent to that property address. Finally, you want to click the print to PDF, that will create a PDF for you, and from there you'll be able to print. Last step, make sure you're unselecting the fit to page. Some browsers may be a little bit different, but they all should have an option to fit to page. You want to make sure that's not selected so that it fits your label paper correctly. Thanks for watching.